Okay, today we're going to look at something that gives people a lot of problems, uh, especially early uh, beginner users of Onshape, and that is the hole tool, so to make holes in things. The simpler way to make holes is to use the circle tool and then uh, remove, you extrude and remove. Um, this is a little more complicated, uh, took away all our options, but this, as you can see, uh, you select the kind of hole, you select the end condition, which means does it go through or not, and then you have some other things that you can uh, adjust in this hole. So it's, it's a more complicated hole that is specifically for uh, drilling into with a screw. So if you wanted to screw something in, uh, you this is when you'd uh, want to make this kind of hole. So let's go ahead and do this. Before you can use the hole tool, you actually need to make a circle first. So we need to go sketch, tell it where to sketch on here. Click on back just so that we're flat and make a center point circle. We'll make it right here. Good. Okay. And I'm just going to accept that circle. Now look, the hole tool is available. When we select the hole tool, it says it tells us to sketch points to place holes. It's wondering where what where are we going to make this hole? And if we go over this point here, notice it does not light up. It's not, it does not recognize, even though this seems to be a point that we could make a hole, it won't do it. Uh, but if we go over the center of our circle, that's what it's looking for. It wants a pre-created circle uh, in order to begin its um, specifications. So uh, once I click on this, it lights up and it's going to let us do stuff. Um, we're going to stick with this countersink. The countersink is this slope right here that is the beginning of a hole. You can think if uh, think about if you were screwing a screw into something. Uh, if you didn't have this slope, then part of the screw would stick out, and if somebody walked by, they might scrape themselves on uh, on the screw. Or if it was a piece of machinery, that that piece of the screw that's sticking up out of the uh, the part might rub up against other things you'd like it to sit down and be all, like flat up against the the rest of the surface we call that being flush so that's a countersink um, and whereas this center circle so there's this slope and then there's the uh, the center circle that is um, the actual part where the screw goes down into the, the part okay so that's countersinking and we're gonna leave it at that um, blind is, uh, if we leave this as blind, then this bottom number is going to tell us how far into the, uh, the substance, into the part, we're going to make this hole. So 0.75 right now, what if we went one? That made it, that's actually all the way through the part. So let's go back to, what was it, 0.5? No, 0.75. That's how deep we're drilling. Um, and you can see it's telling us here with this double arrow. That's how deep. Uh, the next line up is the slope of the countersink. So you, from here to here is a slope, and it's telling us how many degrees. We'll change that to 80. You probably not. It's not going to be enough to really see, but that should mimic the shape of the screw head that you're using. Uh, this is the distance. You can see where the double arrow is from the 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 top of the screw head, the widest part of the screw at the top, that's this distance right here. What if I made that 1.5? It make the, makes that top bigger, and it's going to take a more of a countersink to get down to that. So let's go back to 1. And then this part is the actual, um, this 0.5 is the actual uh, diameter of what of the screw itself um, let's make that a little bit bigger see if it yeah all right so now um, I guess I can check mark that and that's what we have we have a screw we've got the, the the slope here the countersink so that it sits down into the material and then you've got this the hole itself um, that uh, where the screw goes down and that is how you use the hole tool